Hey guys, check out G2A.com for cheap games. There's a link and discount code in the description down below. So if you guys saw yesterday's video, I got proposed a comment in Twitch chat, and that was basically, do you think cops should be a thing in Forza Horizon 2? Or Forza Horizon 3 for that matter. Anyways, progress some time forward, and I had the bright idea to have a to do a Forza Horizon 3 wishlist video. So I went on Twitter, asked you guys for suggestions, compiled the best ones together with a mix of my own, and I came up with one hell of a list of things that I would like to see in Forza Horizon 3. So I wanted to start off with the one that sparked all of this discussion, and that is cops. So I know cops, People, some people say, yeah, there should be cops in the game. Some people say, no, there shouldn't be cops in the game. You're at a festival event, this, this racing should be legal. So that got me thinking, what is the best way to have best of both worlds? Well, one, I wanted to break right, the game down right into, into two things. You have the festival. Which, if you, if you think is legal racing, then okay, you make that legal racing so you don't get done in when you're doing festival races. However, what if there were non-festival races? Like, where, where just like another character in the game. Like, if you remember that guy at the end of Forza Horizon 2, there was that dude. He, like, cha challenges you to, like, an unofficial race. That's a non-festival race, and it's like a legal street racing or whatever. And then, like, the cops will come after you in that race. I think something like that would be really cool. So races, pretty simple. You have your festival races that are legit races, no cops. You have your non-festival races, illegal street racing, cops. Pretty simple. But what about free roam? Well, I think that a good way of balancing it is that everyone should start with cops. And then, if you remember the perk system from Forza Horizon 2, you're able to unlock a perk that basically gives you the option to turn cops on and off. Like, when you're, just when you're in free roam, at least. I think that is a pretty cool idea. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comments down below. Anyways, that's enough of cops. We spoke about it a lot in yesterday's video, so if you want to go check that video out, check it out. I wanted to talk about the map as well. Again, I, I went to you guys, asked you guys what you guys want to see most. And that was, one, a big map. Has to be bigger than Forza Horizon 2. That's basically a given. Racetracks inside of the map. TDU2 and the crew has both done this very, very well. And it's cool when you're racing, like these cars that you take so much time to build up, you can then go and take them off the road and onto a racetrack. I think something like that would be very, very cool. Also, seeing a nice coast is very awesome. Forza Horizon 2 did that very, very well. Proper off-roading is a huge one. If you guys saw my video that I put on earlier today, Forza Horizon 2 rock climbing, that was one of the coolest things that I've ever done in this game. And I would love to see some proper rock climbing, some proper off-roading, hill climbing and things like that in Forza Horizon 2. Carried over from that is some proper hills and some mountains. Both like off-roading, to go up some hills and some mountains off-road, but also some solid proper mountain roads. The only one we have in that game in Forza Horizon 2 right now is the cool drifter that everyone drifts. And that's literally about the only elevation change in all of Forza Horizon 2. Obviously, yeah, there are some other things, but... If you want a mountain climbing road, that's like the only one that's in Forza Horizon 2. So some proper mountains, some proper hill climbs would be very, very cool. Another thing that goes along with that a little bit is a downtown area. A downtown area is always something nice to see in a video game. It's just great opportunity for some pictures, some cool like downtown sort of racing. I don't know, I'm a fan of downtown areas while in games. Another cool thing is a place for top speed runs. Forza Horizon 2 did this quite well with a big straight highway. And I think that something like that would be very well appreciated. Another thing, final thing, a place for some drag racing. Again, Forza Horizon 2 did this perfectly with the, uh, with the airstrip. Cool, great, we need more of that. Very cool stuff. Another thing that a viewer suggested was better car meets. So, there was a whole big thing that we're gonna have car meets in Forza Horizon 2. Yeah, 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 look how cool it is. And then they were literally the most useless thing in the game. What if... We took those car meets, and we gave ourselves customizable characters. Again, similar to the way TDU2 did it, so you can go build up your character and stuff like that. Or you don't even have to do that. Maybe that's too extreme. Do you just have a character you can get out of your car, walk around, take a look at other people's car, like you can sort of do in Forza Vista? Let us do that in, in car meets and go look at other people's cars and things like that online. I think that would be a really, real, really cool feature if we drive into these places in car meets like you can, in Forza Horizon 2, but you can do them online. You can go park there online, get out of your car with a bunch of other people still in your lobby, go check out their cars and things like that. I think it would be really, really cool. So yeah, walking around, taking a look at other people's cars, taking a look at like pictures, the whole Forza Vista thing. I think that would be very, very cool 
to see in Forza Horizon 2, Forza Horizon 3. Anyways, the final, or one of the final things, is the cars. Obviously, the car list will be the car list. You can go on for days about cars you want in the game, cars you don't want in the game, so I don't want to talk about any of that stuff. I want to talk about the customization. Obviously, with games like Need for Speed being released, which has some pretty solid car customization, some pretty solid body kits, I would love to see that come over to a game like Forza Horizon 3. So, maybe some wide body stuff, some maybe maybe some licensed stuff, like some Rocket Bunny stuff, some RWB stuff, some things like that. Because obviously those companies are sort of open to being in racing games now with Need for Speed. But what about Forza Horizon 2? I, I would love to see something like that. I, it's something we've been asking for forever. I think even if they aren't licensed, they'd be pretty welcome. So stuff like that would be very, very cool. The tuning and the upgrading in Forza games is, al is already a 10 on 10 if you ask me. That doesn't need to be touched. We just need more of what we already have. Another pretty cool thing that uh, TDU2 did was the interior of your car. Some of us like to drive in interior view, not myself personally, but I know a lot of you guys do. You like to drive in the interior view. So what about customizing your interior? This was a thing in TDU2. You could go in, you can choose like the leather and things like that. I don't know, maybe that one's a little bit too extreme, but something like that would be pretty cool. Another thing that I found to be quite cool and a viewer recommended or suggested was license plate. This is a cool thing in GTA 5 and both Need for Speed. You have custom plates on your cars, even if it was just like a turn 10 license plate and you could put your own custom like plate and numbers and letters and things on it. Something like that would be very, very cool. And another little one that got a bunch of favorites or a bunch of likes on Twitter was indicators. I don't really know why you would use these, but they are a nice feature and something, something a little, little extra to add into the game. Anyways, two final things. Last thing is events. What type of events would I like to see in Forza Horizon 3? Well, custom races, for one. Custom races is a thing. When you're given an open world game like this, and you're given this huge, amazing world, I want to be able to go through this world, put checkpoints where I want to put checkpoints, and create my own races. With my own waypoints, my own start line, my own finish line, sort of similar to the way GTA 5 did your own, like, build a race. You don't have to put props any or anything anywhere, just waypoints along the route uh, along the route then you can have your proper like you could you could have infinite types of races and user created races then you can go and download other people's races something like that would be very very cool along the same lines as that is drifting events we've seen need for speed do that quite well same thing goes for toge races stuff like that are rather cool and then drag race events we've got this awesome drag strip but no real events to do there at least in the story mode online drag strip works great i'm fairly sure it's not too difficult to go and uh, put in some AI to drive in a straight line. So drag racing events would be rather cool Anyways, the final thing that I wanted to talk about was I'm not going to talk about this for very long Auction house. I think that's all that I need to say about that Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video If you did click that subscribe button down below for more types of videos like this in your subscription box Let me know what you guys want to see most in Forza Horizon 3 in the comments down below I think this is a pretty solid list, but I think with your guys help we can get some even cooler stuff. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one.